2004 through 2008 F-150 multifunction turn signal switch replacement without removing the steering wheel and airbag. I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive, and I'm going to walk you step by step through that process. So on this Ford, a little kid was inside the car and was playing with the turn signal switch here and broke it. It's working electrically, but mechanically it has broken. So we're going to be using a genuine Motocraft part to uh, replace this. I will link it up in the description of the video. That way, if you need to pick the part up, you can find the link in the description. I will also link up all the tools that I'm using. So I've been working with some companies that have professionally designed tools that are made for everybody. And this is one of them. This is Motive X Tools. It's a quarter inch set. So I'm going to use that to remove these panels. So I'm down below and you're going to need to remove the seven millimeter screw here and here. So now you can do this with hand tools or a little cordless impact like I'm using here. It makes it a lot faster. So technically by the book, we're supposed to remove the steering wheel and airbag to uh, get to the turn signal or combination switch, but we're going to do this without doing that. So once you get the screws undone, you're going to pull this panel off just like this. So on this lower steering column cover, we need to take a five and a half millimeter socket here and remove the one screw that's going to be right here. So we're going to remove this screw. Once you get the screw removed, you can go ahead and pull the, the tilt lever down here. And now you can pull the cover straight down and off. So you're going to pry it like here, and you're going to do it on the opposite side here and pull the cover off. If you notice on this turn signal switch, the rubber here is pulled out. It's supposed to be tucked behind in there, but somebody has pulled it out when it broke. Right now, we're going to remove the 5.5 millimeter screw right here, going up vertical. And then we're going to go on the opposite side, and we're going to do the same thing. There's going to be one on the opposite side. Now this top cover here is in two pieces. We need to get the back half off first. So you just pull it up like this right here. There's a little rubber strap that is mounted on there. You can pop that off too. And then you can get that back cover out of the way. To get the front cover, you tilt it upwards and then push it towards the dashboard. I had to twist it a little bit left and right to get it out. Now you need to work it over the combination switch like this and you can pull this cover off completely and set this aside. So now that you got the cover off, the next step is to unplug the electrical connectors on the back of the combination switch. So there's a couple little tabs. You're just going to push the little tabs and pull the connectors off. Now that you got the two electrical connectors here disconnected, there's a screw right here you're going to remove. It's a five, five and a half millimeter. So go ahead and remove this screw. So looking at the new combination switch, there's a third electrical connector right here we need to unplug. So right next to the tilt lever right here is the electrical connector. You're going to squeeze this little tab and pull it, you're going to have to feed it through like this and pull it out. So once you get the wiring pulled out of the uh, harness like this and out in the open like this, now we're going to go on top. There's a little plastic tab right here. We're going to squeeze this tab towards the left and then we're going to pull the whole combination switch up and off like this. Now we're ready to go back in. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the electrical connectors first. Once I got them plugged in, then I'll line them up with this little slot here and I'll push it down until it locks into place. Give it a little wiggle, make sure it doesn't pop back off. Then we can go ahead and put that set screw back in. Then you can go back underneath here and put the uh, third electrical connector back in. So you're going to route it back the same way you threw. You took it out, so route it back through the harness here and plug it in. Now that that connector's plugged in, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the key in the ignition and double check to make sure all the functions work. So before I put all the covers back on, so I'll put the key in, I'll hit the left and the right turn signal, check the flashers, high beams, low beams. So now we're going to work on getting this top cover, the front cover on first. We need to get it underneath the lip of the uh, back of the airbag here. So we're going to slip it over the combination switch. Before I put it on, I wanted to show you the uh, plastic cover that goes in the rear. It has this little rubber strap here. It has to hook on right here. So when you go to hook, put this back together, just gotta keep that in mind where that little rubber strap hooks on just like this. So we're gonna put the uh, front cover on first. So you put it over the combination switch. When I took the original one off, this rubber seal was on the outside. You don't want that on the outside. You want it pushed on the inside. So if it's, so make sure it's inside like this. Now we're going to work the inside here underneath the lip. So you have to kind of twist it and push it with your fingers and kind of mold it to get it underneath the lip of the airbag. It took a little bit of effort to kind of twist it and push the little lip in with my fingers, but it eventually popped in. And this is pretty flexible, so you don't have to worry about breaking it. And now you can go ahead and start the two five millimeter screws on the left and on the right side here and here. Go ahead and start those screws. 
Actually, before you start the screws, go ahead and put this little rubber strap on right here. So clip it on the bottom. And once you got that clipped on, then you can put the back cover down and just it just presses down over the uh, the front cover like this. Now you can go ahead and start the two screws on the left and right side. On the lower cover, this rubber grommet has most likely fallen off. So go ahead and slide it back down on the groove. Now we're going to tuck this lip here underneath the airbag here. It takes the same thing as the top. You have to kind of twist it sideways and flex it a little bit with your fingers to get it to kind of go in there. But it will go in so you can flare it open a little bit to get it to go in. So when you put it in, you want to put the rear end first around the park uh, or the tilt lever here, and then you'll swing it up. It's a tight fit, but it will fit. And then you're going to use your fingers and stuff to flare it and flex it to mold around the uh, uh, around the uh, cover. And then this rubber grommet kept popping off. So before you cinch it all the way up, go ahead and put the rubber grommet back on. Make sure it's seated all the way around. And now you can go ahead and clip them together by squeezing them together. They have little clips. And once you got them squeezed together. Then you can go ahead and put the little five millimeter screw that went on the bottom back in. Now you're ready to put the lower panel on. You're going to hook the hook clips on the top right here. They're going to go in the little holes here and on the same thing on the opposite side. Now you can put the two seven millimeter screws in and tighten those down. So I will link up all the parts and tools that I use in this video in the description. I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, encourage you to subscribe, invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again for watching.